Hello everyone, I'm Freaky and welcome to the video. My friends, there has been times when I've made videos about certain things in the Dragon Ball franchise. Like the time when I said, oh Goku did nothing wrong when he gave Moro a Senzu bean. There was also the time where I made a video about as to why I like the Spovovich versus Videl fight. There was also the time where I made a video saying as to why I like the Garlic Jr. saga. There was also the video of me saying why I appreciate the fake Namek saga. So if you guys want to go and check those out, please do. And when it comes to these... There was people saying, oh, I didn't like the Guard Jr. saga, or, oh, the Spovovich vs. Videl fight made me feel uncomfortable, so I didn't like it. Oh, the fake Namek arc was boring and pointless. Or, oh, Goku was an idiot for giving Moro a sense of being. And when it comes to those sort of things within the Dragon Ball franchise, I was actually defending all those things, giving my reasons as to why I like them, or my reasons as to why I'm defending them, or why I appreciate them. I mean, if you don't like all those things that I mentioned in this video, that is entirely up to you. And my opinion is my opinion. And there are a few other things within the Dragon Ball franchise that people didn't like. And besides from the things that I told you in this video, you know, Gollet Jr., the fake Namek episodes, and the Videl vs. Spopovich fight, and Goku giving Moro a sense of being, there are other things that people don't like within the franchise. And just like the others, I'm also going to be defending another one that people didn't like, but I'm going to be defending. And today's thing I'm going to be defending is from the Dragon Ball Z movie, Broly. The legendary Super Saiyan. And the part I'm defending from that movie is Vegeta's fear of Broly being the legendary Super Saiyan. Now the thing is, I actually didn't mind that Vegeta was scared of Broly. In fact, I downright liked it. And no, I'm not saying that, oh, I like to see Vegeta cowering in fear because I don't like him. But to me, I just love his reaction when he finally sees that Broly is the legendary Super Saiyan. And for some strange reason, many people didn't like seeing Vegeta being afraid of Broly. I mean, come on, his reaction to Broly is a lot better than his reaction in Dragon Ball Super where he says, Watch a Kakarot, that might be the legendary Super Saiyan. And even though in the Dragon Ball Super movie, Broly, both Goku and Vegeta retreated and they said, Okay, we're going to do fusion to beat this guy. I mean, they missed a really good opportunity for Vegeta to say some things about the legendary Super Saiyan in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. I mean, you would have thought Vegeta of all people would have said something about the legendary Super Saiyan. But nope, he just got into the ring and started fighting Broly with no fear at all whatsoever. I mean, yeah, that's all well and good, but I liked out in the Dragon Ball Z movie where Vegeta was in a state of shock and fear and mumbling and saying, oh, we have no chance against him. He's the legendary Super Saiyan. We cannot beat him. And even though he gets his shit together at the end, which I'm okay with, but when it came to Vegeta's reaction, I actually found it fascinating the way Vegeta reacted to Broly being the legendary Super Saiyan. I mean, think about it for a second. Goku, Gohan, Trunks, Piccolo was all facing down on Broly and they're all like, okay, we're going to try and take this guy down. And Vegeta was just scared stiff. Now the thing is, Vegeta knows more about the science than Trunks, Gohan, Goku, because Vegeta basically knows the law of the science more than any other Saiyan alive. Because, you know, he's also royalty as well. I mean, who knows? Maybe Vegeta learned about the Super Saiyan from his father, King Vegeta. And King Vegeta keeps on telling Vegeta that there's no one who can actually beat the legendary Super Saiyan or maybe it was just a story to tell young Saiyans that the legendary Super Saiyan is out to get you or maybe there was a history lesson that Vegeta took and he learned about the legendary Super Saiyan that could destroy universes and stuff like that and you know what this really did fascinate me because that was one of the mysteries of the Dragon Ball Z movie Broly the legendary Super Saiyan I mean we were just told by Vegeta saying that oh we can't defeat him he's too powerful he's the legendary Super Saiyan there's no point, he's going to kill us all. The legendary Super Saiyan is a monster. It really does kind of make you think, doesn't it? I mean, was anybody even curious as to why Vegeta was scared? Like, where did he get this information? Why did Vegeta come to the conclusion that the legendary Super Saiyan couldn't be defeated? I mean, in a way, when it came to the Dragon Ball Z movie Battle of Gods, Vegeta was also afraid of Beerus. But not to the same extent in the Dragon Ball Z movie Broly. Yeah, Vegeta was scared of Beerus. But Vegeta was trying to keep Beerus calm, or it would have destroyed Earth. And you know what? I just love the fact that Vegeta knows that he's way out of his league when it came to Beerus. And it was the same with Broly in the Z movie. Vegeta knew he had to be respectful to Beerus. Because we see in Vegeta's flashback on Planet Vegeta that he saw Beerus with his father when he was a kid. And Vegeta, as 
a reason as to why he should be respectable to Beerus. He was being respectable, he humiliated himself, making sure that Beerus doesn't get into a bad mood, otherwise he would have destroyed the Earth. But in the end, just like in the Broly movie, when Beerus won his fight against everybody, Vegeta says, damn it, there's no point holding back now, and he actually went to go and fight Beerus, even if he didn't stand a chance. It was the same in the Broly movie. Vegeta was like, you know what, screw this, I'm going to go and fight Broly. And he got his ass handed to him. Listen, I can understand why many people didn't like this, why Vegeta was afraid of Broly in the Z movie, but to be honest, I actually did like it. The way Vegeta acted in the Broly movie didn't make him look like a coward. It made him look like he had trauma. And he knows the power of the legendary Super Saiyan, either from stories or history that was taught to him, or maybe it was a story that his father told him to scare him. And again, that's what fascinates me. In the Battle of Gods movie, you understand why Vegeta is afraid of Beerus. But in the Broly movie, you don't understand why Vegeta is afraid of Broly. I mean, yeah, sure, Vegeta is saying, oh, we cannot defeat him, he's the legendary Super Saiyan, what we're gonna do, we're all gonna die. I just find it really, really fascinating when it came to Vegeta and his psyche. But hey, that's just me. I'm okay with Vegeta being scared once in a while. Like, remember the time when Vegeta was scared of Frieza because Vegeta knew that he was outclassed by Frieza on Namek? Or remember the time when Cell actually killed Future Trunks and Vegeta went absolutely ballistic? Vegeta has showed us loads of emotions that came from him. And people saying that, oh, we don't want to see Vegeta be scared of the legendary Super Saiyan. But you know what? I like seeing Vegeta showing us there is things that he is scared of, to a point that he's actually given up. So you know what? I do like seeing Vegeta scared once in a while. I like seeing him angry, I like seeing him frustrated, and even though there are some people out there that doesn't like seeing Vegeta be scared of Broly, but you know what? I do. It's just a shame. We never got to see why. Vegeta act the way he did, like his reasoning as to why he's scared of the legendary Super Saiyan. Again, we know the reason why he was scared of Beerus, but we don't know the reason why Vegeta is afraid of the legendary Super Saiyan. But you know what? I don't mind that mystery. I guess we could just leave it to our imaginations. So again, if you guys don't like this part where Vegeta is scared of the legendary Super Saiyan Broly, if you don't like it, well you know what? That's your opinion. And my opinion is, I really do like it. But hey, that's just me. So, what do you guys think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Do you like or hate that Vegeta was scared of Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan? Please let me know in the comments section below, and let's get a discussion going. I'm Freaky, peace out. And please, don't forget to check out my other social medias. Please go and check out my alternative video platforms, Rumble, Odyssey, BitChute, Twitch, and please come and hang out on my Discord server. We can play games, have a movie night or a series night, or you can watch me play a few games. And if you guys have any suggestions of any videos you want me to react to, or any video ideas in general, you can tell me on my Discord. I'm also on Twitter, Gab, Getter and Parler. I'm on Locals, Tumblr, Minds and if you guys want to support me, please go and check out my subscribe star. It's like Patreon but better. All these things are in the description box below, so please go and check them out and subscribe to them. I'm Geek Freak, peace out.